Do you know that a label plays a significant role in our lives every day? It can be from clothing and accessory labels to social media profiles. A clothing label can determine how rich a person is if he or she is wearing branded clothes. A social media profile can also paint a picture of who you are to the world. Well, you see friends, the world will label us based on our behavior, how we act and how we behave, how we look like, and how we carry ourselves in this world. Remember when we were still young and we acted like monsters? Well, even our worldly parents will label us as monsters, right? But God don't label us based on all that. Our actions doesn't determine our identity in Christ because of what Jesus has done on the cross for us. It is in Christ that we are given a label that far surpasses any earthly identity. So, do you know what is your label in Christ? Bible says in 1 John 3 verse 1, See how very much our Father loves us, for He calls us His children, and that is what we are. But the people who belong to this world don't recognize that we are God's children because they don't know Him. Growing up in a broken family, I was given lots of labels in life. Homeless boy, useless boy, nobody's child, and even more. Even my own family and relatives gives me names that are so heartbreaking to even mention it here. They told me, Ken, your dad is a womanizer, your mom is a party animal, and you grow up to be the same too. And guess what? I grew up to be same like that. And even worse, I was a monster back then. I was involved in crime, gang fights, taking drugs and even stealing. The world will put a label on us based on our lifestyle and behaviour. But I praise God when I came to know the Lord, everything changed. I learned that I am now the child of the Most High God and Bible says He loved us so much that He came down to die for us even when we were still sinners. His love endured me forever. And when I learned that who I am in Christ, it helped me to live life differently. His love transformed me into another person. I was dead to my old self and raised to newness of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, praise God in Christ, we are loved and called sons and daughters of God, even when we didn't perform. But you may ask, how did we earn this label? We didn't. It was given to us and this gift is called grace. It is not based on our performance, but Jesus' performance. Grace is not an object. Grace is a person and His name is Jesus. His perfect sacrifice on the cross made us all right with God the Father. And it was none of our own doing at all. That is why we cannot boast of our very own effort to receive His love and blessings. But it is Jesus, the one that died for us and stand in the gap to pay the price of sin. What Adam did on the Garden of Eden made us all sinners when he disobeyed God. And because of that, mankind was separated from God. But God never stopped loving us. Because He is just, He still needs to punish and love at the same time. And that is why He sent His one and only Son, Jesus, to come down and die for us all on the cross. Jesus, who had no sin, took upon all the sins of the world on Himself and shed His blood for us all, so that today, you and I, we can call God Daddy. My daughters don't go around calling other guys Daddy. They will only call me Daddy because of the relationship I have with them, and that is the same with us and God. Jesus' death on the cross reconciles us back with God. Friends, maybe the world has put a label on you since you were young. Maybe you grew up with a label that burdens or weighs you down so very much in life. Maybe you've been hurt by a past incident that tore your heart into pieces. I want to encourage you all today. Let's not be condemned by your past and failures. Jesus died on the cross for you not because you failed in life, but because He loves you so very much. He gave His life for us so that now we are no longer labelled by our past mistakes by our failures, our insecurities, or even our sin. But instead, we are labelled by His love for us. And when you know who you are in Christ, you can live life victoriously too. He is the same God yesterday, today, 
and forevermore. Amen. Live victoriously for Jesus today, free from condemnation and guilt, because now you know what is your label in Christ. I am Pastor Ken, and this is your five minutes to victory.